Hello and welcome to another emergency broadcast from the Mantic Bunker. Uh, today you've got me, Rob. I hope you've been enjoying all the uh, broadcasts so far. And today we're talking Vanguard. So loads has been going on with Vanguard since it launched way back in November 2018, I think. That sounds about right. When the world was much safer and far more normal. Since then, we've launched loads of warbands, Abyssal Dwarfs, Undead, Goblins, the best warband, Dwarfs, um, Northern Alliance, Abyssals, all sorts. Uh, and as we kind of progress through 2020, that will continue as well. Uh, we've seen the tournament scene really pick up as well for the game. Uh, I mean, sadly, today, or, the, or this weekend rather, we would have had border conflict here in the UK at HQ. Uh, which was organised by Sharrod, and obviously there was a Depticon as well. Uh, so it's been really good to see the tournament scene pick up. Uh, we've also had, well, hopefully three, assuming the world returns to normal, three sold-out tournaments here at UK, at the UK at Mantic, which was Spearhead. Uh, so we've had one, two, three. Each one of those has been really, really good. Um, and hopefully that will go ahead in June. So, uh, yeah, loads of really good kind of feedback from people as well. Lots of people playing around the world, which is great. Um, I think one thing we've tried to do is make the game kind of easier to get into than ever before. So we've still got the core rules for free. So if you want to learn how to play, make sure you go to the Mantic website. And I'm sure Matt will add a thing below me that says where the free rules are. He's nodding and smiling, so that must mean yes. Um, we've also got the free Warbands PDF. Um, and we've updated that to make sure you've got everything you could possibly want in there. So all the warbands are now in there. And we've even, because we're so great, updated it to include the Abyssal Dwarfs this weekend. I'm saying that now before we've actually done it. But I'm sure it will be fine and they will definitely be there right now. So head to the Mantic website, again using that same link, uh, and you will find those Abyssal Dwarfs on there as well. Uh, I think that's one thing we're kind of going to carry on doing this year is trying to make sure the game is super accessible. With that in mind, we're going to be doing a two-player starter set. That's, uh, well, is that a secret announcement? I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Ronnie's not, well, then I would say, say Ronnie's not here to stop me, but he would probably be encouraging me. So yeah, we're going to be doing a two-player starter set. So if someone comes into a store, they can grab that, has everything in there they need to play, and then they can start playing the game. Uh, and then obviously once you've downloaded the free rules, if you want to get things like campaign rules, extra magic, extra items, that is all in the rule book. And I am delighted to announce that that is currently half price on the Mantic website, uh, including the digital one as well. So if you want to get those, make sure you head there and pick them up. So in the previous video, assuming these have all gone out as planned, uh, Ronnie was talking about the Kings of War campaign, the summer campaign this year. Hopefully he got all that right and said that it's all about how brilliant the goblins are and how they're taking over the world. Matt, are you nodding? Great, yes, he's nodding. That's exactly what he said. Um, so what we really want to do is, in the kind of spirit of Vanguard about these small warbands going out first and kind of, you know, fighting over the best locations, interrupting supply lines, a bit like the kind of you know, the, the one thing that Ronnie said was these are the Black Ops guys kind of going out first. So um, currently the idea is, is that will tie into the summer campaign. So we'll have a little mini Vanguard campaign kind of around the outskirts of the Halpy Mountains as they're just arriving, they're scoping things out. So if you're a Vanguard player, you'll be able to get involved with that, kind of play that. At the minute, we're looking at kind of possibly even tying it into the Spearhead event, but we'll have more details on that as and when we know that's happening. But that's a really exciting thing. I think summer campaigns are a really good idea, or online campaigns are a really great idea as they kind of galvanize the community and get them all involved. So uh, I'll be doing probably about 10 Goblin Warbands for that one, uh, and I'm sure you'll be doing yours as well. So keep an eye out for the website or the newsletter, and we'll have loads more on that as we approach it. Obviously, one of the most exciting things about Vanguard is when we release a new Warband. Uh, we've just done the Abyssal Dwarfs, which were insanely popular. We, I think we told three times as many as we were expecting. They sold out. We've luckily got them back in stock now. So if you've been kind of waiting to get your hands on one, they're back in stock now on the website. And we're starting to send them out to stores too. Um, I think everyone really gets excited when we do a new warband. And we've kind of 
hinted, I mean, well, I say hinted, we basically announced it on the podcast, thanks to Matt, um, that we, the next war band in June is the Ogres. Now, sadly, I haven't got the Ogres ready yet here, but I have got some shield breakers. Ooh, I'm not going to show them too much. Um, shield breakers and also some alternate uh, warriors that we're doing as well. So they're actually for Kings of War, but they will be released alongside the Vanguard Warband, which is looking really, really exciting. So the RC has been busy working on this one, and we've got quite a few new models, some of which are based on what you see in Kings of War, and some of which are totally new. So we've got one of the new leaders, which is the Matriarch, so that is a female ogre. Um, she's in charge of the Warband. Um, basically, they're kind of going out there. They're obviously mercenaries. They love a bit of cash as well. So you'll see that kind of go through the rules. Uh, with that in mind, we've got another new character, which is the Paymaster. So that's a really interesting character, actually. Currently, the rules are that the Paymaster can put a bounty on your enemy. And uh, if you kind of hit that one, you get an extra bonus when you're attacking it. So that'll be really interesting to see how those mechanics work. Uh, and then we've also got characters that tie into Kings of War. So if you've got third edition and you've been playing Ogres because they do good combat, you will find uh, you've got the Berserker Bully, you've got the Boomer Sergeant as well. And so what we've done is we thought, well, this is a brilliant opportunity to make those models. So the Berserker Bully is kind of like a, a punk ogre with a Mohican kind of, if you've seen the model, he's kind of really dynamically slashing down, hitting. Uh, and then we've also got the Boomer Sergeant, which is probably my favorite model possibly in the entire Ogre range, actually. He's got a couple of uh, sawn-off shotguns. He's popping the cartridge out of one, getting ready to shoot someone else. And the rules reflect that as well. So I think that's one thing we're really trying to do is we look at the models, we think, oh my goodness. This, I mean, one of the examples that actually, sorry, getting off the, the beaten track there slightly, but the Matriarch, originally, uh, when we kind of envisioned that one, it was kind of, she would be kind of, yeah, give me some instructions. But then when we got the model, we were like, oh my goodness, she looks like a complete badass. Let's give us some more kind of stronger rules. So you'll kind of see that we've, we've tried to convey that in the rules as well. So the ogres are due out in June alongside these extra little bits for Kings of War. Uh, and then kind of we're currently working on the next warband after that, which although I just said that the ogres are most exciting, I think this actually could be the most exciting one yet. And that is now hopefully Ronnie did mention these in the previous video. Matt's shrugging his shoulders, uh, it will be a Ratkin warband. Uh, there's already uh, like a starter rules for those on the website in the PDF. So you've got the Warlock, you've got the war chief, you've got uh, slaves, that kind of stuff. But now we're expanding that with some new models. Um, I, uh, no, I won't say what they are. Oh, cause I, there's, obviously there's a Warlock, I'll say that one because that's hopefully been talked about. Um, but yeah, we're looking at what we can do for that and the Ratkin one is going to be really exciting. So this whole idea of them working as a pack, uh, obviously if they're, they're all together, they get on quite well, but then there's also the chance that they might fall out and start stabbing each other in the back. So that is due for later in the year. And then, no, I probably can't say what we're working on after that. But, uh, you know, we are... Super excited about Vanguard. It's done really, really well. It's one of the most popular kind of free rules on our website consistently. So remember, again, free rules on the website. Um, and uh, we've got plenty of exciting plans for the end of this year and into 2021. So brilliant. So thank you very much for tuning in for all the broadcasts and we will see you soon. Goodbye.